Hello, welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. In the last episode, we built this L-shaped, well, foot-shaped Avery with Petrodon and the Geos in. Uh, we built uh, a large Dunk uh, Lagoon. There are six of them cruising around in complete control. We also did this, uh, did this, uh, control slash behind the scenes like work area which you can only get through via zip line so at least the employees are having a good time and uh, and yeah so we're going to continue to build this section up so we have a oh we also put the homeos in in here as a little bit of a something something they can be seen so in this episode, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to build like the a raptor pen kind of thing from Jurassic World, but have other enclosures branching off it, and then put some like domes and stuff in. So uh, let's get started with that. Let's get some high level. Fencing. Maybe I'll do the Jurassic Park fencing for this. So I'm going to go one, two, three. Maybe I don't I want it kind of more central. I'm going to make like a hexagon because this should be a decent size for especially for raptors Could be terribly wrong, but we'll see. That didn't go centre, so we can't do that. So I was originally thinking it would be the guest facilities might be oh that didn't go up very well uh, would be close to the monorail station okay that's not why are you not doing what I want you to do there you go But we may put them somewhere else, so.
have no idea what I'm going to make it. I'm just kind of winging this. But it could be very interesting. Because if I went one beyond, if I just kind of do it like that, I'm just curious if I went. Actually, that's much better. Is that much better? No, I don't think that is much better, personally. I think I should just... Let's see if that's a two. I'm just checking to see if my dimensions are. So yeah, they should be fairly equal. Just round here, it looks a bit odd. For sort of dunk, doing its dunky thing. Um, actually, no, I, I don't like that. Because like my plan was to have like other enclosures come off it, but I don't like that. So we'll we'll leave it as. Like a raptor enclosure in the middle. Middle-ish. Put like a dome in the middle. I won't put, I won't connect that up. I'm just kind of planning it out at the moment. Goat feeder there.
Right, let's get our raptors sorted. about to hit X again then. There's bound to be one good one in the mix. And we'll see how our raptors do in there. If they're happy. They should be happy. I don't know why they wouldn't be happy. At least I know that the uh, the tunnel will stretch. Maybe I can have the tunnel stretched to over here. I can say I got it kind of perfect. Not quite though. Transit has commenced. Kind of almost perfect. Not really. soft spot for this dinosaur the velociraptor and they get a bad rap as far as i'm concerned but if you imprint early enough you can make real connections with them other than claire raptors are the most intelligent partners i've ever had and like her they could kill me in the blink of an eye <laughs> that's a that's a joke That works out fan. So the question is has been transported. Asset transportation in progress. Do I put hotels along here so you, you can watch the dunks? Is there a dunk about to get a shark or So it's everything due to being aggressive. Um, I think this one's broken. It needs saving. So let's add task and save you. Thank you. 
I think it's heading over. It should be. I can't get out the water now. Help. There we go. <laughs> Help, I'm drowning. Okay, see if waking it up will actually bring it back to life. How slow was that drone? Okay, that's fine. Uh, the raptors seem happy. Seems like Delta's taken over, or Charlie's taken over the group. But they are happy, that's all that matters. So. I was trying to, because I was going to make this more of an in kind of section. It's, um, an in didn't really have a, I guess I could have put a Mosasaur in there. Are you moving? Yeah. I could have put a Mosasaur in there, to be fair. Probably would have worked out, out a bit better. Technically, I could put another lagoon down here and have a Mosasaur being flown in. I might do that actually. Path was a little bit straighter. Maybe not. can never make a straight lagoon. I don't know that actually. And I'd rather have that there so I've got this place to work with. Um, I 
Yeah, the dunks all seem to be working now, no longer glitched. We have a raptor pen. I don't know where to turn this top she section, section into guest facilities and then have like a bit of a walkway around here again. I might do that actually, that might work out to work out quite well. I can put a couple of hotels, some stores and stuff in there. Let's use the paths to kind of lay out what we're doing. I could turn this section into a gyrosphere tour. Maybe put a gyrosphere here and then have the other section go around there as like the exit point so you can that might, yeah that should work. So I ain't got a gyro. I need to keep it a bit away from the edges because I need to put a fence in. Off, go connect to there. And maybe a path going from here to here. We can have a large carnivore in here, a medium sized one over here. Again, guest facilities.
maybe an attraction. Paths. Um... Maybe the movies. I wonder, will you? You will? Okay, that's fine. Because then I don't have to have it inside the enclosure with them. I might split this in half. So I kind of, I guess I could put like a small carnivore in there, like a very small one. I 
Actually. Actually. I'm going to leave that pointy one as... as it is and this one I'm gonna break up because what I'm thinking in the pointy one now is quite a large Allosaurus enclosure but Allosaurus for a group of Allosaurus that should be quite I can't no I can't do Allosaurus because I've got Allosaurus over here with Ceratosaurus But this one can be split in half because I do want to put Dilophosaurs in. I think a Dilophosaur enclosure about this size should be fine. Or maybe, just maybe, a Carnotaurus. So maybe I'll, yeah, so maybe I'll do Carnotaurus over here, Dilophosaurus and Albertosaurus in here. And I can put uh, some domes or the tree around here. And then, obviously, we've got the gyrospear going around here for a large herbivore enclosure, which will probably be... I might put the alamosaur in here. So now it requires a lot of trees and a lot of nuts. I believe it does. Let's have a quick look. We might as well put some in while we're so close to it. <laughs> Make it a little bit humble as well. Maybe we'll put a few of the uh, dinosaurs in here. While we've got time. And then in the next episode, we'll concentrate on the carnivore enclosures. <laughs> I 
I imagine we're going to need more trees. But I just want to see how they go. What else could we put in there? Because he doesn't like... Any other sauropod. Uh, we could put in... I was thinking either Chasmosaurus, or we could put some Stegoceratops in there, just to kind of... Kind of give everyone the... Ceratops slash... Uh... Cer the Ceratops Stegosaurus Stegosaurus experience. You know what? I thought they were going to come straight out then. <laughs> it's probably not even remotely close to having enough forest. Honestly. To put them over there to kind of spread them out a bit. This will again will be our biosim section where well, I'll have to connect the monorail station up to here. But well, they didn't reset. Pretty much if they need more forest compared to food, I will erase some of the, the food. We'll just see how it goes. I've, I've never made these 100% happy. Alamosaurus, the Alamo lizard. I'm probably not the first to ask this, but surely they can't get any bigger than this, right? If it's all right with you, I'm just gonna admire this one from afar. Less chance of getting a crick in my neck that way, too, huh? <laughs> Assets in the air. So I've spaced them around, so... The, the territory should expand as we go. So this should jump up a good amount as well. The forest and the food is slowly expanding. See what colours we got. be a blanky pattern but hopefully with this bit in the forest it should just so I think with that one landing here with this section of the forest I think 
this should boost it to the point where we are kind of happy. As it spazzes out a bit. And that territory will grow a little bit more. Tall nut seems to be... Fine. So the territory's grown that much. They're fine. Fantastic. Um... So we've got the Stegoceratops going in. We've already got po Polycanthus. Maybe we have the Mimis in. Uh... I've got Myasaura already. I can do Allura Titan because I can put some uh, Vibrant Fruits. So this should keep the... So if, if I put uh, that around here and then put a bit more... Fiber or Pia. They should be the fine. Stegoceratops is a hybrid that was engineered to wow the masses. It has everything: the horns, the frill, the plates, the spikes. This is a creation straight from the brilliant mind and laboratory of Dr. Henry Wu. Why it's not decided to go get some food, I don't know. So what's the other one that's doing? They're always the furthest away. Looking for food, it's right there. Delivery complete. Speed this up a bit because As we need to. Asset delivered. Where's the bloody drone? Asset transported. There we go, it's eaten. <sighs> I thought I was getting kinda... Oh! You don't like ankylosaurs? Okay, um... We'll probably save them for a different enclosure then. Um, 
Hmm. So Asset transportation in progress. Yeah, likes them, likes them. Hmm. Transportation underway. Oh, the Alamos are going a bit off center. Oh, maybe I'll put them over there with the others. got seven Strufio Moimus. I think we've got Galli Moimus already. Oh, we already got Dryosaur. I was thinking, oh, I'll put some Dryosaur in there. I could put some Giant Raptors in there, because they're they just need a bit of meat. Yeah, I'll do that. I can put some meat and ground leaf in there. That's fine. Asset delivery confirmed. This duck-billed dinosaur is an Alora Titan. It was one of the last non-avian dinosaurs to go extinct. Until we resurrected it, that is. Now it lives to be studied and put on display. The Allura Titan is a herbivore. As it grinds away its teeth while eating, it has hundreds more that continually take their place. There's a lesson in there somewhere. Delivery has been completed. Asset transportation underway. Oop. Well, not over there. There you go. It's neutral. Heading to pick up the asset. Collecting asset. Well, they're happy because they're having their sleep in the middle of the bloody field. Has commenced. I can say you can't be that lonely. When I found out the Gigantoraptor wasn't actually some kind of gigantic Velociraptor. That would have been a recipe for disaster. What we have here is actually more like an oversized Overaptor. Asset in transit. And that's much better. I feel like there should be more in here. Eight, twelve. There's like sixteen dinosaurs in there, so. They don't need a lot of forest. How can you be lonely? You got like four friends. You should be fine. Meat, forest, water, happy. Alamos are going back over here.
Or maybe I'll put the Mimis over here. Could still do like the Carnotaur and Dilophosaurus. Maybe this could be a Mimi enclosure. Before, right, the last thing I'm going to do, because we're running out of time, and things keep trying to kill themselves again and again. Okay, we need to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to see if I can actually um, put some domes around here. Yeah, that's as that's the maximum. I guess we could take out some of the trees. It's eating, so it's kind of... There you go. It's fine now. Okay, I'm going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we'll finish off uh, these enclosures. I'm, I'll put the Mimis in here. The Mimis can have their own little space. And then we'll start looking at doing the Biosim section. So please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.